Welcome friends. In this video you'll learn English conversations in daily life. Whether you're a beginner or a more advanced speaker, this video is for you. Watch it and improve your English conversation skills today. If you want to understand native speakers English you must practice English conversations daily. You must practice daily English conversation regularly. Before starting the video please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our new videos and also comment. This is just a part of a big series, so make sure to check back to see more. Let's get started. Greeting someone. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm doing well too. Thanks. That's great to hear. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. I went hiking with some friends. That sounds like a lot of fun. I stayed home and relaxed. Sometimes, a relaxing weekend is just what we need. Absolutely. So, what's new in your life? I started a new job last week, and I'm really enjoying it. Congratulations. What kind of work are you doing? I'm working as a graphic designer for a small company. That's impressive. I've always been interested in design. Thank you. And how about you? How's your job going? It's been busy, but I like the challenges. Keeps me motivated. That's a positive attitude. By the way, have you tried the new cafe downtown? Not yet, but I've heard good things about it. Have you been? Yes, I went there for coffee yesterday. The atmosphere is lovely. I'll have to check it out then. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. Anyway, I should get going. It was nice talking to you. You too, Alice. Have a great day and enjoy your new job. Thanks, Aria. Take care. Introducing yourself. Hi, I'm John. What's your name? Nice to meet you, John. I'm Emily. It's a pleasure to meet you, Emily. Likewise, John. Are you from around here? Yes, I grew up in this city. How about you? I'm originally from a small town, but I moved here for college. That's interesting. What are you studying? I'm studying psychology. I find the human mind fascinating. Psychology is intriguing indeed. What do you like to do for fun? I enjoy painting and hiking in my free time. How about you? I'm really into playing the guitar and writing songs. That's awesome. Maybe you can play something for me sometime. Sure, I'd love to. Do you have any favorite books or movies? I'm a big fan of mystery novels, and I enjoy watching sci-fi movies. Those genres are exciting. We have some common interests. It seems so. Maybe we can explore those interests together. I'd like that, Emily. Looking forward to getting to know you better. Me too, John. Let's stay in touch and hang out soon. Talking about the weather. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? Yes, the sun is shining and the sky is clear. Makes me want to spend the day outdoors. I agree, a perfect day for a picnic or a walk in the park. I might go for a bike ride later. How about you? I'm planning to go for a jog this evening. Sounds like a great way to enjoy the weather. Have a good run. Thanks, you too. Have a wonderful day, Sarah. Ordering food. Hello, welcome to our restaurant. What would you like to order? I'll have a cheeseburger and a cola, please. Would you like any sides with your cheeseburger? I'll have some french fries on the side. Got it. Anything else for you today? No, that'll be all, thank you. You're welcome, your order will be ready shortly. 
asking for directions. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the nearest train station? Sure, you just need to go straight down this road and take the first left. And then? Continue walking for a few blocks until you see a big blue sign. Thanks so much. Is it far from here? Not really, it's about a 10-minute walk from here. Perfect, I appreciate your help. No problem, have a safe trip. Talking about hobbies. What do you like to do in your free time? I enjoy playing guitar and reading books. How about you? I love painting and going to art galleries. That's cool, I've always wanted to try painting. You should give it a shot, it's very relaxing. I might just do that. Thanks for the suggestion, Linda. You're welcome, Tom. Let me know if you need any tips. Talking about family. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a younger sister and an older brother. Are you close to your siblings? Yes, we're a tight-knit family. We spend a lot of time together. That's nice. How about your parents? My parents are both teachers. They're really supportive. It sounds like you have a wonderful family, David. Thank you, Sophie. Family means a lot to me. Shopping for clothes. How can I help you today? I'm looking for a blue shirt in size medium. Sure, we have a few options over here. Take a look. This one looks nice. Can I try it on? Of course, the fitting room is right there. It fits perfectly. I'll take this one, please. Great choice. Anything else you're looking for? No, I'm good. Thanks for your assistance. Talking about work. What do you do for a living? I'm a teacher at a local school. That must be rewarding. What subject do you teach? I teach English to middle school students. That's important work. I work in a bank as a teller. Handling finances must keep you busy. Is it challenging? Yes, but I enjoy helping customers manage their money. It's great to have a job that makes a difference. Going to movie. Would you like to go see a movie this weekend? That sounds like a great idea. Which movie and when? There's a new action movie playing on Saturday evening. Sounds exciting. Let's meet at the theater at 6 p.m. Perfect, I'll get the tickets. See you then. Looking forward to it, Amy. Should be a fun time. Expressing likes and dislikes. Do you like swimming? Yes, I love swimming. It's so refreshing. What about skiing? Have you ever tried it? I haven't, but I'm not a fan of cold weather. I see. I enjoy skiing, but I'm not a big fan of swimming. That's interesting how we all have different preferences. Definitely. It's what makes us unique. Talking about past activities. What did you do last weekend? I visited the zoo and had a picnic with my friends. That sounds like a lot of fun. How was the weather? It was sunny and warm, perfect for being outdoors. I spent the weekend at home, catching up on reading. That sounds relaxing. Sometimes a quiet weekend is nice. It was. But I might go for a hike next weekend. Inviting someone. We're having a barbecue on Saturday. Would you like to join us? That sounds fantastic. I'd love to come. Great. We'll start grilling around 3 p.m. Feel free to bring a dish. I'll bring some drinks and snacks. Looking forward to it. Perfect. It's going to be a fun gathering. Thanks for inviting me, Emma. See you on Saturday. 
Talking about travel. Have you ever been to Paris? Yes, I went there last summer. It was an amazing trip. What were your favorite things to do there? I loved visiting the Eiffel Tower and exploring the Louvre. Sounds like a dream. I hope to visit Paris someday. You definitely should. It's a beautiful city with so much to offer. I'll start planning for it. Thanks for sharing your experience. Talking about future plans. What are you going to do next month? I'm planning to take a short vacation and visit my grandparents. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Where do they live? They live in a charming little town by the seaside. It must be relaxing to spend time there. Will you stay long? Just a week, but I'm really looking forward to it. Enjoy your trip and make the most of your time with family. Talking about health and well being. Hey, how have you been feeling lately? I've been pretty good, thanks for asking. How about you? I've been a bit tired, I think I need more sleep. Sleep is important for your well being. Are you stressed? Yeah, work has been quite hectic recently. You might want to consider some relaxation techniques. Like what? Maybe try meditation or going for a walk in nature. That sounds nice. I also need to eat healthier. Eating balanced meals and staying hydrated can make a difference. You're right. I should cook more at home. Cooking can be enjoyable and healthier than eating out. I'll start with a salad for dinner tonight. That's a great step towards taking care of yourself. Talking about favorite music. What type of music do you like? I'm really into pop and rock music. How about you? I love jazz and classical music. It's so soothing. Jazz is great for relaxing. Do you play any instruments? I play the piano. It's my way of unwinding after a long day. That's wonderful. I play the violin in a local orchestra. How exciting! Playing music with others must be fun. Absolutely, it's a fantastic way to connect with people. Talking about weekend plans. Any plans for the weekend? I'm thinking of going to the beach on Saturday. Sounds fun. The weather is supposed to be nice. Yeah, I'm hoping to swim and relax by the shore. I might go hiking on Sunday. There's a trail I want to explore. Hiking sounds adventurous. Don't forget to stay hydrated. I'll carry plenty of water and some snacks with me. Perfect. We should compare photos from our weekends afterward. Talking about pets. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a cat named Luna. She's adorable. I've always wanted a pet. Cats are so independent. They are, and they can be really affectionate too. How do you take care of Luna's grooming? I brush her for regularly and take her to the vet for checkups. That's responsible pet ownership. Maybe I'll adopt a pet someday. It can be a rewarding experience, but it's also a big commitment. Talking about future goals. What are your plans for the future? I'm studying to become a doctor. I want to help people. That's a noble goal. It must be a lot of hard work. It is, but I'm passionate about it. How about you? I'm working towards opening my own business someday. Entrepreneurship sounds exciting. What kind of business? I'm thinking of starting a small cafe with a focus on organic food. That's a great idea, especially with the growing health trend. I hope it will make a positive impact on the community. Discussing favorite books. Have you read any good books recently? Yes, I just finished a fantasy novel called The Enchanted Realm. Oh, I've heard of that one. How did you like it? I loved it. 
The world building and characters were amazing. I'm currently reading a mystery novel called The Silent Witness. Mystery novels can be so captivating. What's it about? It's about a detective solving a complex murder case. That sounds intriguing. Do you enjoy reading mysteries? Definitely, I enjoy trying to solve the puzzle along with the detective. I might check it out after I'm done with this fantasy series. Let me know what you think when you do. Talking about favorite movies, do you have a favorite movie genre? I'm a fan of science fiction films. How about you? I love romantic comedies. They always make me smile. Romantic comedies can be quite heartwarming. Any favorites? The Proposal and Crazy, Stupid, Love are among my top picks. I've seen The Proposal. It's quite funny. What's it about? It's about a woman who convinces her assistant to marry her. That sounds like a hilarious premise. I'll have to watch it. You won't be disappointed. Let me know if you need more suggestions. Planning a weekend getaway. I was thinking of going on a short trip this weekend. That sounds like a great idea. Where are you thinking of going? I've heard there's a charming town a few hours away. That sounds lovely. What do they have to offer? They have beautiful hiking trails and a historic downtown area. Count me in. I could use a break from the city. Great, I'll look up accommodations and let you know. Should we pack some snacks and a camera for the hike? Definitely, and maybe a map of the trails as well. I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for suggesting it, Oliver. Talking about languages. Do you speak any other languages besides English? I'm fluent in Spanish. My parents are from Spain. That's impressive. I've always wanted to learn a second language. It's a rewarding experience. Have you tried learning one? I've dabbled in French, but I never got very far. French is beautiful. Maybe you could give it another shot. I might. How did you become fluent in Spanish? I practiced with my family and took some classes in school. I'll consider taking some classes too. Thanks for the encouragement. Discussing favorite foods. What's your favorite type of cuisine? I absolutely love Italian food. Pasta and pizza are my weaknesses. Italian cuisine is delicious. I'm a fan of Mexican food myself. Tacos and guacamole, right? Exactly. And I enjoy cooking Mexican dishes at home too. That sounds fun. Do you have a favorite recipe? I make a mean batch of chicken enchiladas. Now I'm craving some enchiladas. We should have a food night. That's a fantastic idea. Let's plan it for next weekend. Talking about travel experiences. Have you been on any memorable trips recently? Yes, I went on a backpacking adventure in the mountains. That sounds amazing. How was the experience? It was challenging but incredibly rewarding. The views were breathtaking. I've always wanted to go on a mountain hike. Any tips? Make sure to pack light but bring essential gear like sturdy shoes. Noted. I recently visited a coastal town and enjoyed the beach. Beach vacations are so relaxing. Which town did you visit? I went to a small town called Blue Cove. It was charming. Exploring new places is always exciting. Where to next? I'm considering a road trip to visit several national parks. That sounds like an incredible adventure. Enjoy your travels. Discussing weekend activities. What are you up to this weekend? I'm planning to attend a local music festival on Saturday. That sounds like a lot of fun. Who's performing? There's a mix of indie bands and some well known artists. 
I might tag along if that's okay. I love live music. Of course, the more the merrier. We can grab some food too. Sounds like a perfect plan. On Sunday, I'll be gardening. Gardening can be so relaxing. What do you grow? I have a variety of flowers and some herbs like basil and mint. Fresh herbs are a great addition to any home cooked meal. Absolutely. Let's catch up after the festival and share stories. Talking about daily routines. What's your typical daily routine like? I usually start my day with a workout and a healthy breakfast. That's a good way to kickstart the day. Then what? I head to work, where I spend most of my day. And after work? I like to unwind by reading or going for a walk in the park. Reading is a great way to relax. What genre do you prefer? I enjoy a mix of fiction and self improvement books. That's a balanced approach. I often watch a movie in the evenings. Movies can be a nice way to wind down too. Any favorites? I'm a fan of action and adventure films. They're so thrilling. We all need some excitement in our lives, right? Talking about seasons. Which season do you enjoy the most? I love autumn. The changing colors and crisp air are beautiful. Autumn is indeed picturesque. I prefer summer for the warmth. Summer is perfect for outdoor activities and vacations. Agreed. Do you have any special traditions for each season? In winter, my family and I build snowmen and go ice skating. That sounds like a lot of fun. I associate spring with gardening. Spring is great for planting and watching nature come to life. Each season has its own charm and unique experiences. That's the beauty of living in a place with distinct seasons. Discussing favorite sports. Are you a fan of any sports? I love playing and watching soccer. It's so exciting. Soccer is a popular sport worldwide. Do you play on a team? I used to play on a local team, but now I just play casually. I enjoy swimming and occasionally go to the pool. Swimming is a fantastic workout. Do you have any favorite strokes? I prefer freestyle and backstroke. They're the most comfortable for me. I've always wanted to try swimming. Maybe I'll give it a shot. It's never too late to learn. Swimming can be a lifelong skill. Discussing technology. How do you feel about modern technology? I think it's amazing how much technology has advanced. Agreed. It has changed the way we live and communicate. Definitely. I can't imagine life without smartphones. They've become such an essential part of our daily routines. And what about social media? Do you use it often? I do, but I try to limit my usage to stay present in the moment. That's a good approach. I also enjoy streaming movies online. Streaming platforms offer a wide variety of entertainment. True. Do you have any concerns about technology's impact? I think it's important to find a balance and disconnect sometimes. I agree. It's all about using technology mindfully. Talking about cultural differences, have you traveled to different countries? Yes, I've been fortunate to visit a few countries. Did you notice any interesting cultural differences? Absolutely. In Japan, for example, bowing is a common greeting. That's fascinating. In some cultures, hugging is more common. It's intriguing how customs can vary so much. I once traveled to India and was amazed by the vibrant festivals. Festivals are a great way to experience a culture's traditions. Indeed. It's important to respect and appreciate cultural diversity. Learning about different cultures enriches our perspectives. Planning a celebration. My birthday is coming up. 
Any ideas for a celebration? How about a small gathering at your place? That sounds nice. What kind of food should we have? We could do a potluck with everyone bringing their favorite dish. Good idea. And some music to set the mood? Definitely. I can create a playlist with your favorite songs. Thanks, Emma. It's been a while since I had a party. I'm glad I could help. Let's make it a memorable birthday. Discussing environmental awareness. Are you conscious about environmental issues? Yes, I try to reduce my carbon footprint and recycle. That's important. Small actions can make a big difference. Absolutely. Using reusable bags and reducing plastic helps too. Have you considered using public transportation or biking? I use public transport often, and I've been thinking about biking more. Biking is eco friendly and good for your health. It's a win win. We all need to do our part to protect the planet. I couldn't agree more. Every effort counts. Talking about future aspirations. Where do you see yourself in five years? I hope to have advanced in my career and traveled more. Traveling is a great way to gain new experiences. I also want to continue learning and maybe take up a new hobby. Learning new things keeps life exciting. Any specific hobbies? I've always wanted to learn how to play a musical instrument. That's a wonderful goal. It's never too late to start. Thanks, Emily. What about you? What are your aspirations? I'm considering further education and exploring entrepreneurship. Those sound like exciting paths. I wish you the best, Emily. Talking about work life balance. How do you manage your work life balance? It can be challenging, but I try to set boundaries. Boundaries are important. Do you have any strategies? I make sure to disconnect from work during my off hours. That's a good practice. I sometimes find it hard to unwind. Finding activities you enjoy outside of work can help. I've been trying to spend more time with my family. Family time is precious. It's important to recharge. Agreed. A healthy balance makes us more productive too. Absolutely. We should prioritize our well-being. Discussing educational goals. Are you currently studying anything? I'm taking online courses to improve my coding skills. Coding is a valuable skill in today's job market. It's a field I've always been interested in. How about you? I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in psychology. That sounds like a rewarding path. What area of psychology? I'm interested in child development and counseling. That's important work. Helping others is truly admirable. Thank you, David. Learning is a lifelong journey. Talking about pets. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog named Max. He's a Labrador. Dogs are wonderful companions. How long have you had him? I adopted Max from a shelter about two years ago. That's great. Shelters provide homes for animals in need. Exactly. Max has brought so much joy to my life. I've been thinking about adopting a pet too. It's a big responsibility, but it's also very rewarding. I'll definitely consider it. Thanks for sharing, Emma. Discussing future travel plans. Any exciting travel plans on the horizon? I'm planning a backpacking trip across Europe next year. That sounds like an incredible adventure. Which countries? I want to explore France, Italy, and Spain, among others. Those countries have rich histories and diverse cultures. I can't wait to immerse myself in new experiences. Have you started planning the itinerary? I've been researching and making a list of must-see places. 
I'm sure it'll be an unforgettable journey, Ava. Talking about food preferences. Are there any foods you can't stand? I'm not a fan of spicy foods. I can't handle the heat. Spiciness isn't for everyone. I enjoy a little kick. What about you? Any foods you dislike? I'm not a fan of olives. The taste is too strong for me. That's interesting. I love olives, especially in salads. It's funny how tastes can vary so much among people. Indeed. It's what makes sharing meals so fascinating. Discussing environmental conservation. The environment has been a hot topic lately, don't you think? Absolutely. It's important for us to take care of our planet. Have you made any changes in your lifestyle to be more eco friendly? I've started using reusable water bottles and shopping bags. Those are simple yet effective steps. I've been reducing my plastic use. That's great. Small changes can lead to a big impact. I've also been learning about composting to reduce food waste. Composting is an excellent way to contribute to sustainability. We all need to do our part to preserve the environment for future generations. I couldn't agree more. Our actions matter. Discussing recent achievements. Have you accomplished anything noteworthy recently? I successfully completed a challenging project at work. That's impressive. What was the project about? It involved redesigning our company's website for better user experience. Designing a website requires a combination of skills. Well done. Thanks, Sophie. What about you? Any recent achievements? I recently ran a half marathon for the first time. That's a significant accomplishment. How was the experience? It was tough but incredibly rewarding. I'm proud of myself. You should be. Achieving personal goals is a great feeling. Talking about fashion. How important is fashion to you? I enjoy dressing well and expressing my personal style. It's a creative way to showcase your personality. Exactly. Fashion allows us to make a statement without words. Do you have any favorite clothing brands? I'm drawn to sustainable and ethical fashion brands. That's a responsible approach. I prefer comfortable attire. Comfort is key, but it's possible to find stylish and comfy clothes. I'll keep that in mind next time I go shopping. Thanks, Emma. Discussing personal growth. How do you feel you've grown as a person over the years? I've become more confident and better at handling challenges. Confidence is a valuable trait. How did you work on it? I pushed myself out of my comfort zone and embraced new experiences. That's inspiring. I've been working on improving my communication skills. Effective communication is essential in various aspects of life. True. I've also learned to manage stress and prioritize self care. Taking care of your well being is crucial for overall growth. It's a continuous journey, and I'm committed to it. Discussing community involvement. Are you involved in any community activities? Yes, I volunteer at a local animal shelter on weekends. That's wonderful. How did you get into volunteering? I've always loved animals, and I wanted to make a difference. Volunteering is a meaningful way to give back to the community. It's rewarding to see the animals find loving homes. I've been thinking about joining a community garden. Community gardens promote sustainability and bring people together. I'm excited to contribute and connect with others. Discussing technology and communication. Technology has changed the way we communicate, hasn't it? Absolutely. We're more connected than ever before. Do you think technology has improved or hindered communication? It's a bit of both. While it's easier to stay in touch, face to face interaction has decreased. 
That's true. Texting and social media have become the norm. But video calls and messaging apps have their benefits too. I agree. It's important to find a balance and prioritize meaningful conversations. And to be mindful of how technology affects our relationships. Discussing cultural traditions. I'm always intrigued by different cultural traditions. Me too. It's fascinating how customs vary around the world. Have you ever participated in any cultural celebrations? I once attended a Diwali celebration with friends. Diwali is the festival of lights, right? Yes, it's a beautiful and colorful celebration in India. I've been to a Chinese New Year event. The dragon dance was impressive. Cultural traditions showcase the richness of our global heritage. They also provide opportunities to learn and appreciate diversity. Talking about time management. How do you manage your time effectively? I use a planner to schedule tasks and set priorities. Planning is crucial for staying organized. Do you have any tips? I break down larger tasks into smaller, manageable steps. That's a great strategy. I sometimes struggle with procrastination. It happens to the best of us. Setting deadlines can help. I'll give that a try. How do you find time for leisure activities? I make sure to allocate time for hobbies and relaxation. Balancing work and leisure is key to a fulfilling life. Discussing social media influence. Social media seems to have a significant influence on society. It does. It can shape opinions and trends on a global scale. Do you think social media has more positive or negative effects? It's a mix. On one hand, it connects people and raises awareness. But it can also contribute to misinformation and addiction. That's true. It's important to use social media mindfully. I've noticed it can impact mental health too. That's why setting boundaries and taking breaks are crucial. Discussing fitness and exercise. Staying active is important for overall health, don't you think? Absolutely. Regular exercise has numerous benefits. What's your favorite way to stay active? I enjoy hiking and practicing yoga. Hiking allows you to connect with nature while yoga promotes flexibility. Exactly. What about you? How do you like to exercise? I prefer going for runs and hitting the gym. Running and gym workouts provide a good balance of cardio and strength training. It's all about finding activities you enjoy and can stick with. Discussing travel memories. Do you have a favorite travel memory? One of my favorites is when I went backpacking through Southeast Asia. That sounds amazing. What was the highlight of your trip? Exploring the ancient temples of Angkor Wat in Cambodia was unforgettable. I've seen pictures of those temples. They're breathtaking. They truly are. Have you had any memorable travel experiences? I once visited a remote village in the Amazon rainforest. That must have been an incredible adventure. What did you do there? I learned about the local culture tried traditional food, and even went on a jungle hike. Traveling allows us to immerse ourselves in new and exciting worlds. Discussing healthy habits. Maintaining healthy habits can be a challenge, but it's important. I agree. Taking care of our bodies is essential for overall well-being. What are some of your daily health routines? I make sure to get enough sleep and drink plenty of water. Sleep and hydration are crucial. I focus on balanced meals and exercise. Regular exercise is key. I like to go for a run or do yoga. Yoga is great for flexibility and relaxation. Do you meditate too? I practice mindfulness meditation to reduce stress. That's a wonderful practice. It's all about finding what works for you. Talking about art and creativity. 
Are you interested in art or any creative activities? I love painting and drawing. It's a form of self-expression for me. That's beautiful. What subjects do you like to paint? I'm drawn to landscapes and nature scenes. Nature can be so inspiring. I enjoy photography as a creative outlet. Photography captures moments beautifully. Do you have a favorite subject? I like taking photos of cityscapes and street scenes. That's a unique perspective. Creativity can take many forms. Discussing challenges and overcoming them. Challenges are a part of life. How do you overcome them? I approach challenges with a positive mindset and a problem-solving attitude. That's a great approach. Can you share an example? When I faced a difficult project at work, I broke it down into smaller tasks. Breaking things down can make the situation less overwhelming. Exactly. It helps me stay focused and make steady progress. I tend to get stressed during challenges. Any tips for managing stress? Deep breathing, exercise, and talking to friends help me manage stress. Those are practical strategies. It's about finding what works for you. Discussing personal achievements. Reflecting on our achievements can be motivating. It's a way to acknowledge our progress and growth. What's an achievement you're particularly proud of? Graduating with honors from university was a proud moment for me. That's a significant accomplishment. I recently published an article. Congratulations. Writing and sharing your thoughts is impressive. Thank you. It's important to celebrate both big and small victories. Absolutely. Each achievement contributes to our personal journey. Talking about family traditions. Family traditions can create strong bonds, don't you think? I agree. They provide a sense of continuity and connection. Do you have any favorite family traditions? Every year, my family gathers for a big holiday dinner. That sounds lovely. What do you usually prepare? We have a traditional roast turkey with all the trimmings. It's heartwarming how food can bring people together. Absolutely. Do you have any cherished family traditions? We have a movie night every Friday where we watch classic films. Movie nights sound like a fun and cozy way to spend time together. Discussing future travel dreams. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I've always dreamed of exploring the landscapes of New Zealand. New Zealand is known for its stunning scenery. Any specific places? I'd love to visit the fjords and go hiking in the Southern Alps. That sounds like an epic adventure. I'd love to see the Northern Lights in Norway. Watching the Northern Lights is on my bucket list too. It must be mesmerizing. Imagine witnessing such a natural phenomenon. It's a dream worth chasing. Discussing hobbies and passion projects. Hobbies can add a lot of fulfillment to our lives. They provide a creative outlet and a way to relax. What hobbies are you currently into? I've been learning to play the guitar in my free time. Learning a musical instrument is a rewarding pursuit. Indeed. What about you? Do you have any passion projects? I've been working on a novel in my spare time. Writing a novel is ambitious. What's it about? It's a mystery set in a small coastal town. I'm enjoying the process. Pursuing our interests outside of work is so important. Talking about favorite childhood memories. Childhood memories often shape who we become. Absolutely. They hold a special place in our hearts. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? I remember spending summers at my grandparents' farm. That sounds idyllic. What did you do there? I helped with chores, explored the fields, and played with the animals. Those experiences must have been meaningful. 
I enjoyed camping trips with my family. Camping is a great way to bond and create lasting memories. We often overlook the simple moments that make life rich. Discussing future plans. It's exciting to think about the future, isn't it? Absolutely. It's full of possibilities and opportunities. What are some of your aspirations for the future? I hope to start my own nonprofit organization to support underprivileged children. That's a noble goal. Making a positive impact on others is admirable. Thank you. What about you? Any specific plans? I'm considering further studies to specialize in environmental conservation. Protecting the environment is crucial. Your dedication is inspiring. Discussing favorite types of music. Music has the power to influence our moods, don't you think? Absolutely. It can evoke emotions and transport us to different places. What types of music do you enjoy listening to? I'm a fan of rock and classic rock. The guitar solos always amaze me. Rock music can be so energetic. I'm more into pop and indie genres. Pop music is catchy, and indie artists often have unique sounds. True. Music preferences can vary widely among people. That's the beauty of it. There's something for everyone. Talking about home decor. Decorating our living spaces can be so much fun. It's a way to express our personal style and create a comfortable atmosphere. Do you have any favorite home decor trends? I like the minimalist trend with clean lines and neutral colors. Minimalism can create a calming environment. I'm into bohemian decor. Bohemian style brings in vibrant colors and a relaxed vibe. It's all about making our homes reflect who we are. Definitely. Our surroundings can impact our mood and well-being. Discussing culinary adventures. Trying new foods can be a delightful adventure. It's a way to explore different cultures and flavors. Have you ever tried any exotic dishes? I once tried sushi for the first time, and it became a favorite. Sushi is popular for its unique combination of tastes and textures. Absolutely. Have you had any memorable food experiences? I tried authentic Indian curry during a trip and fell in love with the flavors. Experiencing local cuisine while traveling adds to the overall adventure. Talking about personal achievements. Celebrating our achievements is important, no matter how big or small. I agree. It's a way to acknowledge our efforts and progress. What's an achievement you're proud of from this year? I completed a challenging online course and earned a certification. Congratulations! Continuous learning is a valuable pursuit. Thank you. It's important to invest in personal growth. I managed to overcome my fear of public speaking. That's a significant achievement. Facing fears is a courageous step. Discussing social activities. Engaging in social activities can help us connect with others. Absolutely. It's important for our well-being to have social interactions. Do you enjoy attending social gatherings? I love hosting game nights with friends. It's so much fun. Game nights are a great way to bond and have a good time. What about you? Any favorite social activities? I enjoy going to art exhibitions and discussing the artwork with others. Art exhibitions provide interesting conversations and new perspectives. Talking about travel preferences. When it comes to travel, do you prefer relaxation or adventure? I enjoy a mix of both. Relaxing on a beach and exploring new places. That's a balanced approach. Have you been on any adventurous trips? I went on a backpacking trip through the Amazon rainforest once. Backpacking in the rainforest sounds intense. How was the experience? It was challenging but incredibly rewarding. Nature's beauty was breathtaking. 
I tend to lean more towards cultural experiences and historical sites. Exploring different cultures can be enlightening and enriching. It's all about finding travel experiences that resonate with us. Discussing health and wellness goals. Prioritizing our health is crucial, especially in today's fast-paced world. Absolutely. Taking care of our physical and mental well-being is essential. Have you set any health goals for yourself recently? I've been focusing on getting enough sleep and practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness can have a positive impact on overall wellness. I've been exercising regularly. Exercise is a great way to stay fit and reduce stress. I also practice yoga. Yoga is wonderful for flexibility and relaxation. Let's encourage each other to stay healthy. Agreed. Accountability and support make a difference. Talking about fashion trends. Fashion trends seem to change so quickly. They do, and it's interesting to see how styles evolve over time. Are there any current fashion trends that you like? I'm into oversized sweaters and high-waisted jeans right now. Those styles are comfortable and versatile. I've noticed athleisure becoming popular. Athleisure combines comfort and style, which is perfect for an active lifestyle. Fashion is a way to express ourselves and experiment with different looks. Absolutely. It's a form of self-expression that can boost confidence. Discussing dream careers. If you could have any job in the world, what would it be? I've always dreamed of being a marine biologist and studying ocean life. Exploring the mysteries of the ocean would be an amazing career. What about you? Do you have a dream job? I've always been passionate about photography and would love to be a travel photographer. Capturing stunning landscapes and cultures through photography sounds fulfilling. It's important to pursue careers that align with our passions and interests. Absolutely. Doing what we love brings a sense of purpose. Discussing personal values. Our values shape our decisions and actions. True. They reflect what's important to us in life. What are some values you hold dear? Kindness, integrity, and empathy are at the top of my list. Those are admirable values. I value honesty and lifelong learning. Honesty and continuous growth are essential for personal development. Our values guide us in creating meaningful and purposeful lives. Discussing cultural experiences. Have you had the chance to immerse yourself in a different culture? Yes, I spent a summer living with a host family in Japan. Living with a host family must have been a unique experience. It was. I learned about their daily routines and traditions. I once participated in a traditional dance workshop during a trip to India. That's fascinating. Cultural workshops offer hands-on experiences. It's amazing how much we can learn from different cultures. Experiencing new cultures broadens our perspectives and enriches our lives. Talking about current events. Staying informed about current events is important. Absolutely. It helps us understand the world around us. Have you been following any recent news stories? Yes, I've been keeping up with discussions on climate change. Climate change is a pressing issue that requires global attention. Indeed. It's important to be aware of social and environmental challenges. Being informed empowers us to contribute positively to society. Discussing favorite books. Reading is a wonderful way to escape and gain knowledge. I couldn't agree more. Books open up new worlds. Do you have any favorite books or genres? I enjoy mystery novels and historical fiction. Historical fiction allows us to travel back in time through stories. Exactly. What about you? Any favorite books? I'm a fan of science fiction. Imagining futuristic worlds is captivating. Science fiction often explores thought-provoking concepts. 
talking about daily challenges. Each day brings its own set of challenges, doesn't it? Absolutely. How we handle challenges defines our character. What's a recent challenge you faced? I had to give a presentation at work, which pushed me out of my comfort zone. Facing public speaking is a common challenge. How did it go? It was nerve wracking, but I managed to deliver it confidently. Overcoming challenges builds resilience and confidence. That's true. Challenges are opportunities for growth. Discussing volunteer work. Volunteering is a rewarding way to give back to the community. I agree. It's a way to make a positive impact. Have you been involved in any volunteer projects? I've been volunteering at a local food bank to help those in need. That's admirable. Food banks play a crucial role in supporting communities. Volunteering also allows us to connect with others who share similar values. It's heartening to see people come together to make a difference. Discussing personal interests. It's important to have hobbies that bring us joy, don't you think? Absolutely. Hobbies are a way to unwind and explore our passions. What are some of your favorite hobbies or interests? I'm an avid cyclist and love exploring new biking trails. Cycling is a great way to stay active while enjoying the outdoors. And what about you? What hobbies do you enjoy? I'm really into gardening. I find it relaxing and rewarding. Gardening allows you to nurture and create beauty. That's wonderful. Talking about family vacations. Family vacations create lasting memories, don't they? They do. Spending quality time together is precious. Have you been on any memorable family vacations? We went on a road trip to the Grand Canyon. The views were breathtaking. Exploring natural wonders with family is a unique experience. Absolutely. Have you had any special family trips? We once visited a charming coastal town and enjoyed beach activities. Beach vacations offer relaxation and fun for all ages. Discussing favorite films. Movies have the power to transport us to different worlds. They do. A well made film can evoke strong emotions. Do you have any favorite movies or genres? I'm a fan of romantic comedies and heartwarming dramas. Romantic comedies provide light hearted entertainment. I enjoy sci fi films. Science fiction often sparks our imagination and explores futuristic concepts. Films offer a shared experience that can bring people together. That's true. Movie nights with friends are always enjoyable. Talking about personal growth. Reflecting on our personal growth can be enlightening. It's important to recognize how far we've come on our journey. What areas of personal growth have you been focusing on? I've been working on being more patient and practicing gratitude. Patience and gratitude are qualities that enhance our well being. I've been honing my communication skills. Effective communication is valuable in various aspects of life. Continuous self improvement leads to a fulfilling and meaningful life. Absolutely. Learning and growing are lifelong pursuits. Discussing career aspirations. Our careers play a significant role in our lives. They do. Choosing a fulfilling career is important for our overall happiness. What career aspirations do you have for the future? I hope to become a professional graphic designer and work with creative teams. Graphic design is a dynamic field that allows for artistic expression. I'm considering entrepreneurship. Starting your own business requires determination and innovation. It's about pursuing our passions and making a positive impact. Discussing outdoor activities. Spending time outdoors can be so refreshing, don't you think? Absolutely. Nature has a way of rejuvenating our spirits. What outdoor activities do you enjoy? 
I love hiking and camping in the mountains. Hiking allows you to connect with nature and get some exercise. And you? Any favorite outdoor activities? I enjoy picnics in the park and going for leisurely bike rides. Picnics are a delightful way to relax and enjoy good food. Talking about life lessons. Life teaches us valuable lessons along the way. Indeed. Every experience contributes to our personal growth. What's a significant life lesson you've learned? I've learned the importance of embracing change and adapting. Adapting to new circumstances is a valuable skill. I've learned the power of resilience. Resilience allows us to bounce back from challenges. It's a crucial trait. Reflecting on life lessons helps us navigate future situations. Discussing dream destinations. If you could travel to any dream destination, where would it be? I've always dreamed of exploring the historic cities of Europe. Europe has a rich history and stunning architecture. I'd love to visit Australia's Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is a natural wonder known for its vibrant marine life. Exploring diverse ecosystems would be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights in person. Witnessing the Northern Lights is on many people's bucket lists. It must be magical. Dream destinations inspire us to venture beyond our comfort zones. Talking about social media usage. Social media has become a significant part of our lives. It has transformed the way we connect and share experiences. How do you manage your social media usage? I set time limits and prioritize face-to-face -face interactions. Setting boundaries is important. I sometimes find myself scrolling mindlessly. It's easy to get caught up in the virtual world. I've been using social media for networking. Social media offers great networking opportunities, especially professionally. Balancing online interactions with real-life connections is key. Discussing personal values. Our values guide us in making important decisions. Absolutely. They serve as our moral compass. What's a value that you hold dear? Empathy. I believe in treating others with kindness and understanding. Empathy is a powerful value. I value integrity and honesty. Upholding integrity builds trust and fosters strong relationships. Our values shape the kind of people we strive to be. Discussing favorite travel memories. Traveling allows us to create unforgettable memories, doesn't it? Absolutely. Each trip brings new experiences and stories. Do you have a favorite travel memory that stands out? I'll never forget the time I explored ancient ruins in Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is a marvel of history and architecture. I once had an amazing wildlife encounter in Africa. Wildlife encounters can be truly remarkable. What did you see? I was on a safari and got to see elephants and lions up close in their natural habitat. That must have been an incredible adventure. Travel memories stay with us forever. Talking about personal challenges. Overcoming challenges is an integral part of personal growth. It's through challenges that we discover our strengths. What's a challenge you faced recently? I had to learn a new software program at work, which was quite daunting. Learning new skills can be challenging, but it's rewarding in the end. I've been working on time management. Effective time management is crucial for productivity. How's it going? I've been using techniques like the Pomodoro method to stay focused. Finding strategies that work for you is key to overcoming challenges. Discussing favorite cuisine. Exploring different cuisines is like a culinary adventure. Absolutely. Food is a wonderful way to experience diverse cultures. Do you have a favorite type of cuisine? I'm a fan of Italian cuisine. Pasta and pizzas are my weaknesses. Italian food is known for its delicious flavors. 
I love trying Thai cuisine. Thai cuisine offers a perfect blend of sweet, sour, and spicy flavors. Sharing meals with loved ones enhances the dining experience. That's true. Food brings people together and creates lasting memories. Talking about dream achievements. Dream achievements give us something to strive for. They motivate us to work hard and pursue our passions. What's a dream achievement you have in mind? I've always dreamed of writing a book and getting it published. Writing a book is a significant accomplishment. I've dreamt of starting a nonprofit organization. Creating positive change through a nonprofit is an admirable goal. Dream achievements push us to reach higher. Discussing leisure activities. Finding time for leisure activities is essential for relaxation. It's a way to recharge and enjoy the present moment. What leisure activities do you enjoy in your free time? I love practicing yoga and meditating to unwind. Yoga and meditation promote inner peace. I find solace in reading. Reading is a wonderful escape into different worlds and perspectives. Engaging in leisure activities nurtures our well being. Discussing cultural diversity. The world is so diverse, with rich cultures and traditions. It's fascinating how different societies have unique ways of life. Have you had the chance to experience cultural diversity firsthand? Yes, I traveled to India and was captivated by its vibrant culture. India is known for its diversity and traditions. I once attended a multicultural festival. Multicultural festivals showcase the beauty of various cultures coming together. Embracing cultural diversity promotes understanding and unity. Talking about relaxation techniques. Relaxation techniques are essential for managing stress. They help us find moments of calm in our busy lives. What relaxation techniques do you practice? I enjoy deep breathing exercises and guided meditation. Deep breathing can have an instant calming effect. I've been practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness keeps us grounded in the present. I find solace in nature walks. Connecting with nature is a wonderful way to find tranquility. Discussing career advancements. Career advancements often come from hard work and dedication. Absolutely. It's rewarding to see our efforts pay off. Have you experienced any significant career advancements? I recently got promoted to a managerial role at my company. Congratulations! Climbing the corporate ladder takes determination. I'm working on expanding my skill set. Continuously learning and growing opens doors for career opportunities. True. Embracing challenges and seeking growth leads to success. Talking about memorable concerts. Attending live concerts can be an exhilarating experience. Music has a way of uniting people and creating unforgettable memories. Do you have a favorite concert you've been to? I'll never forget seeing my favorite band perform live on their world tour. Live performances add an extra layer of connection with the artists. I once attended a music festival. Music festivals bring together diverse artists and fans for a vibrant celebration. The energy of a live performance is unmatched. Discussing sustainable living. Sustainable living is important for the well being of our planet. It's crucial to adopt eco friendly practices in our daily lives. What sustainable habits have you incorporated? I've been reducing single use plastics and opting for reusable alternatives. Small changes like that can make a big difference. I've been supporting local farmers' markets. Buying locally supports the community and reduces our carbon footprint. Embracing sustainable living is a collective effort. Talking about personal achievements. Reflecting on our achievements can boost our self confidence. It's a way to recognize our progress and growth. What's a personal achievement you're proud of? I successfully ran a marathon after months of training. 
running a marathon is a remarkable feat of endurance. I recently learned a new language. Learning a new language opens doors to new cultures and connections. Celebrating our achievements, big or small, is important for self-appreciation. Discussing weekend plans. Weekends are a great opportunity to unwind and recharge. Indeed. It's a time to do things we enjoy. What are your plans for the upcoming weekend? I'm planning to go hiking and have a picnic in the mountains. Hiking sounds like a refreshing way to spend your weekend. I'm going to a live theater performance. Enjoying live performances is a cultural and artistic experience. Weekends offer a chance to engage in activities that bring us joy. Talking about environmental awareness. Raising awareness about environmental issues is crucial. It's important to educate others and take collective action. How do you contribute to environmental awareness? I participate in local cleanup initiatives and promote sustainable practices. Taking action at the community level has a ripple effect. I've been reducing my energy consumption. Conserving energy helps reduce our carbon footprint. We all play a part in protecting the planet. Discussing childhood dreams. Childhood dreams often shape our aspirations as adults. They ignite our imagination and set the course for our future. What was a childhood dream you had? I dreamt of becoming an astronaut and exploring space. Space exploration is an exciting aspiration. I dreamt of becoming a wildlife biologist. Studying and preserving wildlife is a noble pursuit. Childhood dreams reflect our passions. Talking about favorite seasons. Each season has its own charm and beauty, don't you think? Absolutely. They bring distinct changes to the environment. What's your favorite season? I love the vibrant colors of autumn and the cooler weather. Autumn's foliage is indeed picturesque. I'm a fan of spring. Spring signifies renewal and growth, which is uplifting. Every season has its unique appeal. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of our new videos and also comment. For more videos like this please check out the playlist on end screen. Thanks for watching.